Hi guys, this is Fo. Uh, wow, I'm so excited. We have here um, Gundam uh, Zazabi. Uh, he is in a, an extra large um, box, basically. So this is part of the Gundam universe action figures. Uh, so Gundam is pretty much known for, um, you know, like uh, um, model kits, which uh, I do not enjoy putting together. I think they take way too much time and I just want to enjoy my toys, I guess. <laughs> and so these these uh, Gundam Universe action figures, they're like uh, six inches tall and they are pretty amazing. They're bigger than a lot of those typical uh, 1 to 44 um, uh, you know, scale uh, model kits. Um, those, those model kits are much smaller. They're almost like half this size. Um, so to get uh, very large, um, you know, Gundam-accurate-ish um, action figure uh, in this scale is uh, pretty amazing. And they're affordable, so uh, um, typically these will run you about $25. But what's special about this release, this number 18, is that it's it's a extra large box. So here's number... This is number 17. Uh, see so 17 on the side here. And look, it the number 18 is uh, double the size of, of the. Uh, you have to under, you have to see how large this is. So this I'm pulling it back because it's how big it is. Number 18, number 17, and it is twice as large, twice as wide, and the front of the box is just way too big. <laughs> it is. It is almost comically too big. In fact, actually, I would prefer number 18 to be packaged in a way where it's a little bit smaller. <laughs> um, now, the figure itself actually is pretty big. He does come with a sword as well, the sword he's holding. I just didn't take it out because I'm not going to display it with the sword. Um, but he does come with two extra hands, a closed fist hand and then these open hands, which I've uh, replaced. And... <clears throat> Let me get the box out of the way because it's just so you can focus on the actual figure itself. It's um, it is it's pretty awesome. So it's very detailed. You can see the Gundam logo down here. It has a really nice gun uh, on the back. Uh, you do have to add this butt piece, and then um, he does have articulated. Uh, uh, I guess propel propulsion or whatever and then he does have these missiles which can be taken out individually I'm not gonna do that right now but each of these missiles are uh, placed in there by hand and that's and to me you can fit this figure in um, not this box size but maybe just a little bit bigger but not as monstrous big as the box that we just took away I feel you can fit this figure in something like this, but maybe double the, the width maybe, but that's it. But keep it the same kind of like dimension, you know? Uh, but anyway, but it's big. Um, and it's priced accordingly. Uh, so these are typically $25. I think I paid $40 for, for this guy. Um, I found them at Target, but I'm assuming uh, you're going to see it at Walmart and other retailers. Um, I only have Target and Walmart near me, so that's the only two places I can really compare to. And I don't think this guy you're going to find in a lot of places. But right now, um, but yeah, he's really nice. Um, very chunky. His Just his leg itself is massive. These two can stand on anything. And then uh, look at the detail of the... Uh, uh, you know, the boots uh, and, and all that stuff. I mean, they didn't have to carve all that stuff down there, but they did, and it's, it looks pretty good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I am a fan of these Gundam Universe. I know nobody's collecting these because every time I go to the store, nobody's buying them, and they're always on the shelf, and uh, I may be the only person that's buying these, and uh, I have all 17 plus the two Target exclusives, um, there's two of them, so if you are collecting these, uh, you should get uh, both of them. They're kind of tinge in a pink color, which I don't love, but, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, but they're available, so, and I think they're, 
I think that last one, they, nobody bought them, so they clearance them to like seven bucks or something. I bought two of them because they were so cheap. Um, but yeah, um, this guy, um, I love him, but like I said, that box doesn't really belong with the rest of my uh, collection. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that extra large box. Uh, I would like to keep the box to kind of display, but... Um, Right now, how I'm displaying him is I'm taking him outside. Now, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's really no other review I can do with this guy. He he posed like an action figure. It's pretty good. I mean, anything you can expect from an action figure is good. And I like the plastic. It's, it's not like the um, the uh, the model kit plastic, which is a little different. Uh, these are kind of like more like more. I think harder. Look look at. There, I don't think it. It's it could snap, but I. It's pretty tough. So yeah. So. All right. So um, as far as um, new releases go, I'm very excited because. Um, <clears throat> looking at the back so, back of this box, uh, we can see that we have upcoming, uh, Shang Long Gundam and Master Gundam, which is the black. Gundam. He is my favorite, so I will probably buy two of them. Um, Master Gundam, wow, I can't believe it's going to take that long to get him. He's number 19, which is the one after this. So this is number 18, 19, and then 20. And then, uh, I, again, I own all these, so I love all the releases so far. Um, I wish there was more bad guys. A lot of these are just all Gundam good guys stuff, but I, I want to see more bad guys. Um... But yeah, Master Gundam, um, so awesome. I, I hope we get his horse, his unicorn horse or whatever. And I hope he comes in a deluxe edition as well. I mean, uh, maybe perhaps um, perhaps uh, with with that horse, uh, the unicorn horse I was talking about earlier. Maybe they can package him in a um, box set. And if they charge $50, I'll buy it. <laughs> right now, this $41, $40 for this, um, is it worth it? I I think if you're a Gundam fan, it's, it's fine. Um, it is, you do get a lot more, but I don't know if it's significantly more than a typical $25 release that, that you know, that I'm going to say go ahead and uh, is such a value. Uh, to me, um, <laughs> you're basically buying two of these so this will be $50 if you buy two of these right so maybe you just saving ten dollars for a big release but I don't know if it's worth it I I, th I think it's cool I think it's for the first time we're seeing something in this scale in this larger packaging and stuff but uh, as far as value um, I don't know it seems like it's just a normal release to me he's just a lot bulkier he, he's just probably using a lot more plastic so that so they feel justified in charging a little more for all this extra plastic um you know but it's fine i mean i like i like the guy uh so i guess it's up to you if if you can afford it i think 40 dollars is a reasonable price i i actually think that 25 dollars is actually very reasonable as well uh it's not too expensive but it's not you know uh, it's, it's not cheap like those those ten dollar Gundam tiny little figures. Um, these are actually very good for display. So yeah, um, yeah. So again, I'm gonna kind of have them out of the box, uh, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the big box. But anyway, thanks for watching. I know this is just a dumb. Nobody's gonna watch this because uh, nobody likes these Gundam universe figures. So. So I feel like nobody is will watch this. All right, thanks for watching.